Hello, Alberta. This is Frank, here for another Frank talk of all the rest of you severely normal Albertans. Now, today I want to talk about the class structure. So, as I told you, the middle class, now I put the median of the middle class at $50,000. I put the poverty line at 22000 so if you go down 28000 to get to the lower end of the middle class from the middle, you have to go 28000 to get to the upper limits of the middle class from 50000 28000 added is 78000 So most of the population lives in this circle, in the middle class. Now the middle class that's got an upper and a lower, over 50,000 would be your upper. And I don't know what the exact number is, but over the median would be your upper middle class. And under the median would be your lower middle class. Now, if you're under 22,000 a year, and I put it at $22,000 a year simply because <clears throat> I know here in Edmonton, where I live, that a one bedroom apartment will cost you about $9,500 a year. For an apartment and if you make $22,000 and you have to pay 45% of it in, just in shelter then you're pretty much in poverty so I don't know what the government sets it at but this is the way you do it you set the median you set the poverty line and you go the same amount up here because if the median is 50,000 and you make 90,000 you you've left the middle class. You're in the upper classes. Now the upper classes have many layers, just like the middle class does. Because you could be making $25,000 a year, and yes, you're, you're lower middle class, but, but uh, if you were making $48,000 a year, you'd still be lower middle class. But there's a big difference between 25 and 48. Most of us are in this oblong. Oh, I would make a circle, but I'm not a good drawer. Okay, anyway, so let's go get along here. So on the top row here, you have your Poobah Masters. Your Poobah Masters is big business and medium business because those are the ones that are unionized Small businesses generally aren't unionized. They don't have enough employees. They have high turnover. Now, big businesses are pretty much are unionized. <clears throat> now, just below them, you have your poobahs. Now, who are your poobahs? Well, now we have an orange poobah. This will be Rachel Notley and all her other poobahs. The MLAs in the legislature. And then you got your progressive conservative poobahs. You got your wild rose poobahs. And every one of them makes three times as much as the median income. No matter what they did for a living before they got elected. Now, they might have been elected just because they were running with the <coughs> for the progressive conservatives or or the other party, they might have got elected for that, or maybe they got elected because they're well known in the community. Or maybe they were a bus driver yesterday and they're an MLA today making 150000 a year. I'll tell you what that does. If a bus driver makes $50,000 a year, he just has enough. And he has three kids. He just has enough to pay the mortgage. <clears throat> buy the food, send the kids to school, buy them clothes, blah, 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 blah. At the end of the year, he's hoping he gets a refund back on his income tax so he can go on a vacation. <clears throat> now, once you're elevated up to here, if you still lived on the $50,000 that you used to make, well, then you'd have $100,000 extra to invest in the businesses of the Poobah Masters. Now, I told you the Poobah Masters are big business and medium business. <clears throat> now, what happens here is <clears throat> these people have to hire 
if some problem arises, if they're a minister, oh, and by the way, if they get appointed as a minister, say the minister for breastfeeding in the legislature or something, they get more money. So, every ministry has to have, oh, pardon me, every MLA has to have a helper and a secretary and this and that, and that's all getting paid out of the public purse. <clears throat> But the ruling pool bots have cabinet ministers, whoops, sorry, have cabinet, the ruling party has, appoints cabinet ministers for anything and everything, and they get paid more money and they hire staff to help them research and to help them do this and that. And uh, they strike up committees to study this and then they get the report and they don't like it, so they put it on the shelf and strike up another committee, which costs us more money and blah 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 and blah 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 and nothing gets done really in my opinion okay so under here you have all the consultants that they have to hire to study this or that or this and that <clears throat> big business is here politicians are here labor leaders labor lawyers consultants business lawyers MLAs the, even even the Alberta branch of the CTF doesn't even know what's been going on in this province but of course the government and their accountants do, but they're all here. They're all being paid more than the middle class out of the public purse. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> these are the people who need help and they're not getting any. <clears throat> here in the middle class are most of the workers, even the government workers. The workers <clears throat> who the government workers are unionized and they're very vocal and they're very forceful and <clears throat> the government didn't just give up these uh, 45 years ago, it didn't just say, hey, we're going to give you this benefit of the Alberta health care premium tax for free. No, they didn't offer that. They just didn't bargain hard enough, which is their job, to get the best deal for our burdens. But that takes work. And with all that old money coming in back in the 70s, they were a little bit lazy. And it showed over the years. Now this is the way our society works now. And, or worked until the, <clears throat> until the orange wave come along and swept the Tories out of power, thankfully. And it's just not working. It just doesn't work. We have to cut out some of the layers here and send that money down here to help these people. And now, with our socialistic, environmental, uh, environmental extremist government, which lately has been talking not so environmental extremists, because they need a pipeline built so that they can get sell more royalties, get more oil moves, so they can get more royalties so they can build their utopian society. But everything that they are doing, especially the enviro tax right now, is sending the cost of living up for the middle class. It may send the cost of living up for all these people, but since they all make over $100,000 a year, that extra $1,000 that life's going to cost them isn't quite the hard shot that the extra thousand's going to cost this guy who has to also heat his home. How about this guy, $25,000 and he's got two kids. And now you've got Rachel Notley telling him to go out and buy a new car because she's going to overtax him and build a whole new greenery industry. Well, that's been tried in Ontario. In Ontario, the power bills are 200% or 100% higher, or maybe more than that. All I know is that it's cost them $40 billion in extra costs for electricity over a 13 year period. I just read that today. So, <clears throat> Right now, we don't even have a proper tax regimen in, and they're trying to bring in enviro taxes. Why don't you not only really straighten out our tax regimen first, so that we, through our domestic 
activity that will go on no matter what. We'll always go to the store and buy a pair of shoes. We'll always go and buy a car. Maybe not the one Rachel wants us to buy, but we'll buy one when we can. <clears throat> we have not taxed our domestic activity, our domestic trade, ever. What would we do if we didn't have oil? So, as I told you in the last video, the Alberta advantage has to be that when you have a proper tax regimen, the oil is the advantage because it's extra. Now, how are we going to get, why do we need so many of these people up here, why do we need that? What do they all do? Why can't the last government, why can't this government trim a little bit out of these middle things that are all being paid out of this, the public purse? Well, it can be done. Rolf Klein showed it could be done in 93, but he did it drastically. <clears throat> the new leader of the Wild Rose, he had a plan. He came out and had a, a, news, a news thing on, 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 the, uh, on the television two weeks ago. And he presented the same austerity measures that the Tories presented in 93 when they held up Clown Face Ralph. Well, it's not 1990. You can't pull the same trick on us, shrink the services to get the budget back in balance. Not until you deal with what has been done. With what has been done, to our budget, to our purse. So, on the next video, I'm going to start showing a path to sanity, to financial sanity, to financial peace of mind, so we can become a more caring and better society. I'm going to introduce you to the PCT, something you've never heard of. Until then, I'm Frank, and I'm severely normal.